Y'all ready to talk about Apple? <laughs> Hello, children. It's so funny because I just filmed the Miami Heat video and then this happened and I was like, well, two for the price of one today. But today is an interesting. This is the air power mat. This is Apple's wireless charging mat. And what sets this mat apart and makes it different from other mats, other wireless charging mats, is that you can, you're supposed to be able to throw your device anywhere on the mat and it will be able to charge your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and your wireless AirPods. Now, this item has been in development for a while, like one and a half, I believe it's one and a half years. Yeah, one and a half years. And for something to be in development that long, and then there's not a release date and an approximate price where at least tech journalists are saying it'll be priced between X and X, is, was your first red flag. Because when it goes over a year, and most things they try to keep it within nine months, most companies, just because the longer something takes, either you have to quietly kill it, and you certainly don't wanna come off of a conference and post this thing up on, you know, on your packaging and then have to cancel it. So, and they're not delaying it. They're just flat out canceling it, which means they didn't like the design. The coils weren't working properly. It was, looks like it was going to overheat. It was having too many issues. And this device reminds me of something I saw at Costco this weekend. It's, uh, it's one of those, you know, battery packs, but it also charges your, it's a battery pack with the capability. It charges your battery and it also charges your, your car battery. And my whole thing when I saw that was, I don't like, I didn't like those different types of voltages like paired together. So I had an issue with it just in case, you know, God forbid you, you had, you know, a certain charge and that went to your phone. I didn't like the idea of it and it was expensive and someone else was looking at it which brought it to my attention but my whole thing was i didn't like the design of that damn thing and one of the most easiest ways for you to screw up any device you have is buy a bad charger or buy a bad charger or buy a very poor quality battery there goes your hardware so and anything too where you're running current through it where you're plugging it in if it is too poorly made you've just screwed up, you, you know, your precious hardware. So with Apple, they didn't want to release it, but it seems like they were pretty comfortable for a while that this thing was going to get itself worked its way through, that they were going to solve, the, uh, you know, the overheating and the multi-coils, and they were going to stabilize this. And in the end, it just wasn't happening. And you can tell they were confident because if you're posting, if you're posting these items, you know, if you're ready to send it out on packaging, but one point, you know, a year and a half, there's no, you know, talk of price. You have a problem, or at least a release date, or at least it's coming by this, something, but you, you really didn't have that. So I'm not surprised. There are other devices on the market that will multi-charge Apple Watch, an iPhone, and your AirPods. Now, you're not just gonna throw those on a mat, that device, literally tells you where to place each item. That device also comes with just the USB charging cord. Now, everybody that knows anything about, you know, currency and voltage, for the best charge, you really want an AC adapter. So, for people that have negative views and negative experiences with those charging devices by only plugging it into a USB charger, you're not going to get the current levels to charge everything that way. That's why they say plug it into, you know, go from USB to AC charge and plug that into the wall and you'll get a much better charge going through AC. And I really do feel like if you want, they sh should they be putting an AC charger with it or at least telling people like, look, if you have an AC charger, please connect for, you know, a more optimal charge. They should at least do that because then some people just don't know. They just don't know. So Apple was having problems, but, not, but there, there still are third party devices that will charge all three. They just, it's just not 
a mat that you can just throw stuff down. It's just not that unstructured. And for those of you who are saying, you know, we shouldn't be hard on Apple for this, I disagree because if, if this, you have to ask yourself, if this was another company, if this was Samsung, if this was Motorola, anybody else, LG, you would be dragging them for this. They would get dragged and they would get hassled. So no, I'm, I'm very glad it happened to Apple and not some of the others. You know, you give me, you let me run my Windows phone again. I'd be a very happy person, but you know, it is what it is. So the thing is they, they got, it's, it didn't seem like they got lazy, but they just, it seemed like there was a time to kill this version of the product and they didn't uh, it, and at least like restart on it and it wasn't like at this point they could have done this a while ago they just seemed adamant that they were going to work everything out and it's not happening <laughs> it's, it's not it's not coming did this spur more ipod those you know the wireless ipod headphone sales i think possibly because the it's a possibility just because of the functionality that those would be able to charge on that wireless mat. But I think the people that like those, I call them the, the headphones that will be lost in about two, you know, your soon to be lost headphones. Those tiny headphones, people that like that, I do really just want to be in the ecosystem. And I don't think the mat was it for them because it had that wireless function. It probably did spur a, a percentage of sales. But the thing with Apple people are, is they just want what's new. They just like new. Oh no, the thing could look exactly the same, but it's new, you guys, it's new. They like new. You know, good luck, God bless. So I, I think a percentage of those sales came from that. But listen, I, what's, they're going to come out with a pa another pad like this, but they're gonna rework the placement of how you put things down on it because I think that was was what was tripping them up. The fact that you were supposed to be able to throw it anywhere, throw your items anywhere, and it should be, be able to charge anywhere on that pad. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. That it, it's not happening. So that being said, I think the next version of this, you're gonna be able to throw it on the pad and or they'll tell you where you can put the item. You know, if you put that here, that there, or, you know, and that's where it'll charge. So I, I don't think it'll be as unstructured as this one that's getting canceled, the next version, but they're gonna try to not make it so modular as the other ones. But there's still some really good devices out there that'll charge all three that are, you know, that are working, that are different colors. You know, you have the white version, the black version. They're just not as freeform as that pad. And now you know why they're not freeform because that freeform structure, it don't work. <laughs> no, no one's got it to work, you, you, you know, substantially. So yes, so that's the issue. You're not getting, you're not getting your pad. No pad for you. No air power mat for you. I'm so sorry. Some people were really excited about this. All right, you guys, that's it for me. So let me know. Let me know if you would, if you, you know, were waiting on this AirPod. There are other options. I'll link to them. Let me know if you like your AirPods. To quote the greatest show on earth, live long and prosper. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Poke, poke, poke.